Hi guys, Danielle at Danielle TVD. Marissa at Marissa Rothman. And this is our podcast, We Have Thoughts. And today we're going to talk about the season finale of Under the Dome, which if you've been watching our podcast, you realize that the last time we talked about Under the Dome, it was mostly me ranting because Marissa was not caught up yet. But the good television journalist that she is, she caught up before this. She didn't just watch the finale. And she emailed me some lovely commentary as she was catching up. And I would like to read some of the gems to you. Um, so the subject line of the first email is under the dome is the freaking worst hashtag five minutes into catching up that's all she says right and so then I said just wait till you're actually fully caught up it's all downhill I legitimately made a noise of disgust when I started and it hasn't been better since I'm getting crankier since discovering one of Fringe's best editors edited this episode <gasps> okay. good people stop going to terrible shows it's not a bad thing for him he needs the job and then I don't know what this is in reference to, but oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is so bad. And then I actually asked her what part she was up to, and then said, "Don't wait, no, don't tell me, because I want to guess. But I couldn't guess, because then it just became what, what WTF, you know. She's um, not going to curse and she, like her. No, you wrote WTF is the show. Oh, yeah. You were being very PC I, I about it at PC. that point. And she said she only wanted to catch up so that we could talk about it here. And so I was like to turn to you at this point and say, what were you referencing at these moments? Because if you felt this way <laughs> before you got to the finale, I'm curious to see how you felt at the finale because I don't think that you actually, we did not email, did we email? I don't have it on here <coughs> if we emailed about the finale. I think I emailed you after the finale because I think- well, I don't have it on here, so. <laughs> um. I will say, I think one of those moments was when uh, Barbie and Julia were in bed together. Okay. And I was just like, and, and one of those times also might have been, and it's like, look, look, they have chemistry, I understand, and from episode one, you could understand that they were setting them up to go down that route. But like, when she gets shot, and he kisses her, and he's like, I love you, I'm like, you killed her husband like three days ago, dude. Slow. <laughs> what? What? Okay, so it was it was pretty much at the end you were responding this way because that no, was wasn't the end. No, it wasn't the finale, but it was pretty close to the end when no. she was in the hospital. It was second up, second to last episode when he found her in the hospital. No. Uh oh. Because I, I unless I'm completely look. To be fair, I watched a lot of it in a row, and I watched also it in first with Emmy's and also with Dexter's finale, so it's, it is a little bit blurry, but I will say I feel like that was probably either the third or fourth the last oh, episode. Oh, okay. But no, there was also, I mean, there was just, look, well, the, the mini dome, which your descriptions did not fully prepare you for. Oh, the Fight Club. I tried. I think, oh, I the, think one of those things was the WTF Fight Club. WTF is this show? Yeah, that, that was that, my that, reaction. That was the Fight Club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, guys, very careers do fight clubs make entertaining television. I mean look, basically the only time where it was even quasi understandable slash kind of amusing was like in the OC when you're like Ryan Atwood is a is a he's crazy. And it's like you kind of understand why he would get to that place. That made more sense than this I mean look, I understand that they're oh, they're oh I'm themselves. just surprised at the at the comparing the two. I'm not, I disagree the OC that is a better show sense. than but, it, but it's very odd to compare those two shows. They have, they're very dissimilar shows. I was thinking of Fight Clubs. Okay, fair enough. I just that's <laughs> what threw fair, me. I was like, what are we? To, what's happening? To be fair, there are not a lot of. I mean, just but the fact is, it's, just, it's so. I, I just. So all of that having happened before the finale, then. Did it, do you feel like it prepared you for the... Terribleness of the finale? Well, I was actually gonna say because so much of what came right before the finale was individualized. It was the of the week episode, like the Fight Club, for example. Like, if all of these people, they had a ton of people that, w that were living in this town that apparently had this like ingrown rage or whatever that made yeah. them the type of people that would go to and participate in a Fight Club right. that we never saw again and never saw take place anywhere else. It was all self-contained. Um, and there were a lot of moments like that, like going as far back as, you know, the birth of the baby and, and whatever. Um, even, I think, to a degree, 
the, we, I talked about in the last podcast how I said, um, I almost called him Hank, but Big Jim, how he was um, not an outright active villain, but he was more of an opportunist. And then I think that as soon as I said that, the next episode, so they, they did show him starting to be more active and starting to show that opportunism is inherent to a villain. It's just more active. But again, it was still individualized. It was like one action here that doesn't seem to have any effect or carry over and have any emotional weight on something else. And then you have a finale that supposedly has all of these overarching connections and you know the mythology comes into place with the who is the monarch and forget the why because I mean, I don't know if they're ever gonna tell us why Julia is the monarch because she, like, as I said the last time, this Julia doesn't deserve it. Um, but but all I'm saying is, you know, I felt like it didn't prepare you for the kind of finale because the tone of the show was so wildly different from week to week that like I didn't expect to get so much mythology. 